everyone, Laura at Broken Wind here. We are making. I'm going to start today with some work on my neck. I'm going to get the truss rod channel in. And if I have time, I'm going to do a little bit of shaping up the other end. Um, nothing fancy to do this. I've just got a Bosch palm router, hand drill, and this interesting setup where I've got my piece of beach. I have a straight edge and another straight edge for my router to follow to give me the channel. And I'll be starting with holes at each end for start and finish with to get my depth right and then I'll be doing a few passes to get my channel where I need it. thought I'd take an opportunity to have a closer look at my inspiration. Don't know if you can see them. Local herd of jerseys. Don't want to get too close because I've just spotted that there's actually a bull in there so I don't fancy that. But I thought I'd just take the opportunity, it's the first time I've had, to discuss my inspiration of my design with my technical consultant. So I'll just get his opinion. Does what do you reckon? He gets up and close and personal to them more than I do. Do you think I'm mad? Yep. Brilliant. Thanks, mate. Value your input. Morning, everybody. This morning, I am going to do a bit of experimenting. I've received my stunning stain shots from Crimson, and I'm just going to have a bit of a play and work out how dilute I'm going to get them to try and get the sort of furry jersey highlights for Violet's body and I've got some black which I want to get really quite concentrated to do her eyes so I'm just going to have a bit of a play this morning and see if I can get that sorted so while they're festering and drying I can actually crack on and do a bit more makeup. Got it. Black might need two coats, but you can still see a bit of the wood grain through, which I kind of like. Adds a slight extra texture to it. And this one for the body, my initial was a bit too dilute, um, but could be useful to have slightly different highlights going on. But this, I think, is the colour I'm looking for. It's got that kind of ambery. I can still see the grain through, it's got some colour about it, and I think that's what I'm aiming for. And if I remember rightly, it was 10 drops for 100ml of water of the amber stunning stain shot. So I'm going to try for that. I've just done a little bit of work and realised I'd forgot to film it. So just to let you know what I've been doing, I have just... It's been a bit boring to be fair, I've not really missed out. Just making sure that my top surface is completely level for when I'm able to glue on the fretboard in a little bit and then I've just um, routed the edges so that I've got my width of the neck bob on and then I'm ready to do a bit of shaping here on my headstock while I've still got a rough surface to be dealing with and not ruining anything nice that's finished so I can clamp it. Um, I'm just I'm hoping I'm going to do a little bit more in a minute with the Dremel but at the moment I need to get a lot off and rough a lot off so I'm using this lovely old rasp that I think might have been either my grandfather's or great uncle's when we uh, cleared out their houses and I pleased to inherit it as rusty as anything and as sharp as anything and the last build I did I lost many a top of a knuckle due to this so um, let's do some shaping. Having got the worst off with this big beast um, to get the roughing out of shape, I'm now going to use my little Dremel with a pen extension, which is really quite handy for having better control on a design. I'm just using a little engraver tool, you can see it there, to still roughing out really, and then I'll get in there with a load of sandpaper 
to smooth it all up. Um, as previously mentioned, the shape I'm aiming for here is inspired by that of an Orma shell, uh, which I did in my previous video, and well spotted a lot of you. Um, I've had comments on um, the shape that I portrayed on my blank in the previous video that with the machine heads where I had them that it wouldn't have worked because of the oval shape I had and you were all right. Um, what I hadn't done that I didn't explain in the video was put the line of where I was going to cut. I just roughed out the oval kind of idea without the cut line that would then show you which you can probably see here. It makes it able to get the machine heads working in this design and shape. Um, also quick corrections corner. Uh, I previously mentioned that uh, for the Latin geeks out there and to prove to my dad that I listened to him that it was a hali, I think I called it a halitosis tuberculata when actually it's a haliotis tuberculata which is quite different and also just proves to my dad that I only ever half listened to him so oops um, but well spotted again and um, thank you all for your comments I'm not very good at replying to them um, because of time restraints with juggling everything I'm doing at the minute but I do really appreciate them and I do read them and I value your input and your support so thank you please keep the comments coming and when I can I will respond either in a video or on actual comments on YouTube turns out now that I've started that I actually want to take off a lot more material than I first thought or planned to but I'm enjoying the shaping and I think it's going to come out well so I'm just going to give my Dremel a minute to cool off before carrying on and so I thought I'd just chill out with a cuppa for a minute have a general daydream So I've learnt a lot in the last couple of hours. Firstly, big lesson learnt when you're in the middle of making and go leave off for mum duty and bath time. Have fun splashing around, best time in the world. Do not then come straight back in the workshop in your slightly soggy clothes and carry on sanding. My shorts, I think, have changed colour. <laughs> from the amount of dust that's just gone and stuck to me but lesson learnt, won't do that one tomorrow. The other thing is I've pretty much finished roughing up my headstock and got a bit carried away. Went through nice and thin so I've got a proper scalloping bit out here and beautifully thin so thin I went through it. So I've decided this is not a mistake, it's going to be a design aesthetic. And I'm going to use my inspiration and put more holes in it. And um, yeah, I think that'll be something for tomorrow. I'm going to spend a load of time sanding and getting rid of the roughness. And then tomorrow I might do a bit more detailing on the back before gluing on my fretboard. So watch this space, it's probably going to be another few days before I get to do another video where hopefully we might start actually cutting away at Violet. In the meantime, have a fab weekend and please share my page on social media and other things I'm supposed to tell you about YouTube. Subscribe, that's the one. And yeah. Keep watching, keep enjoying, great guitar build off, check out all the other builders, there's some lovely things going on all around the world. So excited to be part of this and really pleased that I've taken on the challenge and I will see you all in a few days.